good guys welcome back to another missing person case monday hope you guys had a fantastic weekend despite everything that has been happening in this crazy world but before we get into today's missing person case video i do want to discuss and send love and light to families because if you guys did not know joshua jj valor and tylee ryan were both found their bodies have been found deceased sadly and also allison waterson's body has been found as well so i'm sending both of those families love and light in case you guys did not see in the community tab that i posted about those two different cases being found it's truly sad i was really i was really having faith that they would turn up safe and sound just like anyone out there in the world so i'm truly saddened by the news of both of these individuals well all three of these individuals being found to see today's video guys we're going to be discussing 20 year old vanessa gillian vanessa is in the army and she went missing just off the base in fort hood texas now this case is one of those ones where i'm like not hit close to home but when you have friends and family and you know kind of some of your work field is related into the military it kind of just makes you raise an eyebrow and also because i have heard a lot of horror stories you know about the military as far as women being in the military with when it comes to sexual harassment or sexual assault and before i jump into the details of her disappearance i did want to share something from her facebook page because of course as youtubers and a lot of people who are sharing her case some people aren't you know of course people reporting on the cases there has been some false information i assume that has been out there for as comments so i did just want to read something from her family's facebook page that they have created in honor of vanessa so I will begin and I'll post it right here so you guys can see. And it says, please share and read. Good morning to everyone. There has been many, every rumors which are truly false, comments, YouTube videos, and mainly and many discussion groups without the family's consent. Please what please what makes the public think that a stranger will know more than the family does? absolutely no one so we respectfully ask the public to please report any discussion groups except for the family help and support group no one should be discussing about an ongoing investigation so please do not also about the comments it is not true absolutely false so please do not let yourself drive by false information and if you come across one report or block do not deal with people who are just wasting time the YouTube videos, we understand the ones who are bringing more awareness to the case. For example, the YouTubers who just simply talk about the situation or they do criminal videos. But the psychics, cards, magics, please, we ask you respectfully to do not, to do, not do those videos or take them down. Please have respect for the Gillian family. No one can determine the future or what's going on. So please do not let yourself drive by those people who may just want publicity. Thank you so much for everyone's support and prayers. Please keep sharing. Have a blessed day. And this is why when I do a lot of my videos, I like to just give the information that is listed. And sometimes I get chewed out because people's like, well, that's not this. Listen here. I'm only going by articles, families, words. That's it. Not a psychic. I don't know what happened. I can only share and bring awareness. And that's why I created the Milk Carton series. So I hope you guys continue to understand that. That's why a lot of my videos are not super duper long unless there's a lot of information in the cases because I'm not here to waste anyone's time. I'm here to share awareness and bring awareness to the missing or crime cases. So let's get into this video. Guys. Vanessa Gillian went missing on April 22nd, 2020, around 1 p.m. She was last seen on the Army base in Fort Hood, Texas. She was last seen wearing a black t-shirt with purple fitness leggings. 
Vanessa is Hispanic descent. She is 5'2". She weighs around 126 pounds. Has black hair and brown eyes. I to read what her military occupation specialty is. She's, and please, please don't beat me up if I'm saying it inappropriately or incorrectly. She's 91F, small arms, honorary repair. Her home of record is Houston, Texas. So I just want to throw that out there of what she was doing in there. She was last seen again around 1 p.m. and she was at the, at the Engineer Squadron headquarters. Her keys, her barack keys, her identification and, were, and wallet were all later found in the armory room. And this was found where she was working earlier that day. And ironically, about three weeks from the time she disappeared, Vanessa had confided into her mother about being sexually harassed from one of the sergeants in the army. And she didn't give a name of who the individual was, but you know, she did present this information and the army came back basically stating that there was no reports on this. I said there was no reports on that. I mean, she probably didn't file because she probably was really scared. I have watched, you know, I've heard I have watched and heard a lot of things when it comes to the military. So I can definitely understand why she probably did not report it. You know, a lot of women do not report sexual harassment or sexual assault anyways. It's because nine times out of 10, people feel like they won't be believed or people won't believe that it had happened. There is a reward money for any information leading to the disappearance of Vanessa. And as I was researching Vanessa, because like I said, I only seen some of her story floating on Facebook. And I think it was one of my friends that posted her story and how that they needed to get it more attention. And I was like, wow, I never even heard of that story. Although it may have touched like the national news and stuff. But as I was doing my research, I found that literally a day or two ago, there was skeletal remains that were found of another missing army. And these remains were also found in Fort Hood, Texas. So, and the information leading to these skeletal remains were from an anonymous tip. And this young man went missing in 2019 and his skeletal remains was found a year later. Henry Wendell Morales was last seen August 19, 2019. Last seen driving his Kia Rio. And what's crazy about this, his case is he was supposed to be discharged from the army within a couple of days. Despite social media rumors, authorities do not believe these two cases have any connection. It's just truly ironic that, you know, uh, another soldier went missing and was later found. And it just makes you wanna keep praying that Vanessa is safe. And that's truly, the only thing that we can do is keep sharing her story, spreading awareness, and trying to uplift her family in any way possible. Because, whew, you know, it's, it's like no words, no words whatsoever. And that's pretty much Vanessa's case. There's not a lot of information. You know, it's like she vanished. She was last seen around 1 p.m. You know, she was working. You know, the, there's just not a lot of info, you know, about the disappearance of her. So I do hope that some information comes out. You know, um, one of the one of the actresses had posted about her story as I was researching, you know, really trying to get her name out there some more. And that's all we can do is to, you know, kind of keep our opinions to ourselves and just share their stories in any way that we can, even if there's not a lot of information. Regardless or not, someone may have seen her or someone may know something and that's all we truly need in this moment. So that is today's story, guys. I will see you in another missing person case video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the fam. And I will link all links down below. I'll even link the Facebook group so you guys can go head over there and continue to uplift her family in any way possible. So guys, until the next video, I will see you and I'm sending love and light to all families involved. <sighs> so sad.